Hi guys, I'm back and I'm going to do just a really quick flip cup with most of the colors from the chess pieces. Um, I really don't want to use all that black again, so we'll probably just use the rest of the white plus, um, plus the lighter colors and probably not a lot of that orange. I'm going to stir in the silicone real quick. Try not to stir the colors up too much. And it's just pouring straight down through it. We'll put a little bit of this orange in there. Just because it's so pretty, I'm hoping, you know, just a little bit will kind of come through there. Not really doing this in any order, obviously. I never do. I'm hoping I'll have enough paint with without using that seriously dark green or too much of that orange. I don't think I want to put any more of that orange in there. I just don't like it. This does not look cool. It doesn't act cool. It's not a buddy. All the other paints. It's not a very good friend. Put some of this magenta over the green. Because sometimes when these this dark pink kind of mixes with the green, it kind of turns pretty. I really won't put that orange in there, but <laughs> really too afraid to do it, so I'm all chicken out on this one. Put the rest of this white in there. I'm hoping this is enough paint for this canvas. Because this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. Um, I just grabbed it real quick because I had paint left over and I want to use it all. Probably should have just redone my my chess pieces squares because I'm not real happy about the orange. But I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna peel all the pieces apart and then I'm going to put them together in the order they belong and just kind of see what it looks like. Anybody out there who's a Green Bay Packer fan ought to like it because it's pretty much all orange and green. Sometimes when I have all this leftover paint and I dump them all in one container, all in one, you know, pour cup, it turns out super cool, and sometimes not so much. So I'm hoping this is going to be one of those times when it's super cool. But I gotta tell you, I'm super happy to be back with my <laughs> original paints, because they work for me. You know, they don't work as good as... I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little, like a little pinch of this dark green in there just to see if it comes through. There we go. Okay, nice full flip cup here. Um, I've got this sitting on these tiny little cups because I ran out of um, push pins. So I'm just gonna slap this over and hope I don't flip the whole thing over. I kinda need to hold it. Oh wow, ooh that is so pretty. Man, I wish you could see that. That is so gorgeous. Let's turn our light on and see if it helps. Oh, look at all those cells. Yeah, I'm going to leave that light on. I don't know how pretty it is to you guys. But man, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. Let me move over just a little bit. Okay. Man, that is so pretty down there. If the whole painting would turn out like that, I'd be super psyched. But we all know how it goes. It's always the mess or the leftover paint in the cup, or the paint all over the table that looks the coolest. Oh, look at those colors, so pretty. I have to remember this color scheme. Oh, the cup is so awesome. I have no, I don't know if I have any left in here or not. A Little bit, 
Not enough to really help out though, so let me set this cup down. Put some more butane in there real quick. Ah, that stuff's cold. Look at the cell. That little grouping right there. I can see I got a lot of silicone on the top of this paint, so I'm probably going to have to wash this painting off. I did use a touch more silicone than I normally use just because I wanted to see what happened. So, But we got some super awesome cell action here. So, Alright, I'm going to get a side catcher. Hopefully I have one right here. <laughs> That's okay. It's going to pour off anyway. Don't have a heart attack. Okay, so I think yeah, this is going to be hard to do because I've got all those pieces over there from the, uh, from the, the chessboard pieces. They're all just sitting over there. And I don't want to pour any paint on top of them. Let's go ahead and go this direction with it. I'm going really super slow because I don't like when the cells stretch out and get weird shaped. I, I don't need them perfectly circular, obviously, because none of mine ever are, but I don't like them when they get too stretched out, like you have a huge one and you get a bunch of little tiny ones. I want to pull it back just a little bit because I'm afraid I'm going to lose too much paint. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Slow it down for a second. This way. I don't know what in the world he's barking at. Oh. The neighbors are taunting him. I love it when the neighbor kids taunt my dog. And I can't go out there and yell at the kids, but I really want to. They're not my kids, so I can't yell at them, but it drives me crazy when they're out there taunting him like they are. They think it's funny, but, you know, I'm not really too psyched about it. Whoa, look at how pretty that is. I know, it's risky setting it right <laughs> over the painting. All right, let's see if we can get this to... Come down this way a little bit. I really like to keep that orange because there's no more orange in there anywhere. So I'd like to keep it from going off. doing pretty good. I haven't dripped on the other pieces yet. I actually haven't dripped it on the floor either and I'm right on the edge of the table so I'm sorry I'm being quiet. I'm just kind of watching what everything's doing. I'm trying to keep it from pouring off. I don't have the side catcher catching it. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I'm glad I put that little bit of orange in there because I really like it. All right, we got one more corner to go, and then we'll set it down and not touch it again, and we're home free. <laughs> Look at that pretty. Um, that's like lacing. That's like veins. Man, I really needed to have a good paint day. The chess pieces I'm not real thrilled about yet, but um, this is turning out pretty cool, so. I'm glad I put that little bit of orange and a little bit of green in there and not too much else, not too much more of it because I think it would have really overtaken the whole painting. Come on. Okay, there we go. Let's bring it back just a little bit. 
but not too much because then the sides are getting all stretched out. All right, I think that is it. I need to. Oops. I did drip one spot on that little green tile, but that's okay. I can fix that really easily because there's so much extra green paint over here. You'll never even know it. I just gotta scrape that orange off of there. I don't think y'all can even see what I'm doing, but I'm just um, saving the painting, saving the little tiles over here real quick. There we go. There we go. And you'll never even know that that orange was there. There we go. I actually did it in a couple of spots. <laughs> now I'm seeing them. But you know what? That's what I do. It's part of my process, people, right? We all have processes. One of mine is dripping in my other paintings. Okay, so I need to wipe my palette knife off here because I got a corner that I, I didn't get because um, I didn't want to keep stretching the paint any further, but easy enough to fix with a palette knife. Palette knives are one of the most awesome things that you can have in your little painting arsenal. So if y'all don't use a, a palette knife, you should definitely get one. And they're just, oh, in this corner too. Let me see if I can get some because this is a real pale corner. I need some real pale paint. I'm going to scoop it up from over here and put it on over here. There we go. That's what happens sometimes when you use the side catchers. It, um, sometimes you miss the corners, but it's so easily fixable. And then over here a little bit. Now I'm just kind of scraping off the excess paint off the bottom so that the drips do not continue to pull the paint off. I I I seriously have to breathe a sigh of relief <laughs> um, because you know I've been working with all the different paints lately, and it's just paints that I'm not accustomed to using. So it would literally take me six months and a lot of paint to go through to figure out how those paints would work for me. I know how, for the most part, I know how, th how these paints work for me and I like them. I like what they do. You know, I don't get those really super cool cells that some of the other people get, but I like my cells too. I'm happy with my cells. I get super excited when I get veins like this. Oh, like they're all through here. Just unbelievable to me. I mean, I just think they're super, super cool. I love all the different colors in here. All right, I think that's about it. So, I hope, and look at this side catcher. Oh, it's so pretty. Holy cow. I don't even want to throw that away, but I mean, it's cardboard. I don't really know what you can do with it. But I might save it anyway, just because it's super cool looking. Okay, let me get you down so you can see a little close up. Okay, and normally I would, this is where I would say, those are not the true colors, but these are actually exactly what it looks like. The exact colors, I can't believe it. I mean, look at all the cells within cells within cells. This is what I like about the paints that I use with silicone that I use with the flow trial that I use with the distilled chilled water that I use I get occasionally I get weird looking critter faces like that one and look at the the veins through there I just think those are super cool okay Oh look, look, it's like a little ghost right here. He's got a hand there, a hand there, eyeball, eyeball. And there's this big wide open mouth and he's going, ooh. <laughs> look at that orange one with the blue and the purple. 
Look, oh, it's a lion face. Look at that. It's totally a lion face. He's got a little, eye, little dot eyeball there, a little dot eyeball there. Green nose. And look, he even has this little smiley face, a little tiny orange line right there. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Wow, look at how all the colors just... Oh, man. I'm going to have to do more of these with lots of different colors because... But, you know, it never works when I try to use lots of colors. It only works when I have lots of different colors left over from different different paintings. Okay, so let's get you back where you can see the whole thing. Yeah. All right, there's your pretty for today. Uh, I want to thank all my subscribers, all my viewers, everyone who comments, everyone who just watches silently. Um, I've got paint all over my phone again. Um, yeah, I want to thank everybody, um, for all your support and all your love. I hope wherever you are on the planet, you're having an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. Bring you back in for another close-up. There you go. All right. I love you all. See you later. Bye.